Hello fellow YouTubers, how you doing? It's Petrades. I know you haven't seen me for ever, um, but that's because I've been really, really busy. Um, so the last time I talked to you, I was waiting to hear back from Barnes Noble and um, possibly the, what was it? Possibly the uh, San Diego Wild Animal Park thing. So want to let you know that I did get the Wild Animal Park gig, so which is really cool. And I'm working on the Experience Africa show, which is basically um, African people trying to make it rain in Africa to end the drought, uh, which is pretty cool. And I do three shows a day, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. I was supposed to be there today, but I missed my connecting bus, which sucked, so I'm not there. But they only wanted me for one show, whatever. But I've been doing that for the past couple of weeks, and that, it's been really fun. I enjoy it, although I get really hot and sweaty, and I have to hike uphill to the parking lot when I park the car. It's horrible. And I'm jump, up and jumping around in the sun with the, with the kids and the, and the bird costumes, and it's really hot. But um, there's nothing better than walking up the hill getting in the car and turning on the air conditioner at 6.30 at, a, at the end of every day. I'm going to lose so much weight, I swear, because this is the most exercise I've ever had in, like, years. It's physically demanding. I'm have to jump around and be happy, and I should be sweating pounds. Uh, I'm excited. Um, let's see here. Barnes Noble did not call me back, so I'm not working there, which makes me sad. But that's okay. Um, another reason why I had been avoiding uh, the internet a while is because of the Harry Potter book, the seventh Harry Potter book. Um, I, it was really stupid. Um, I didn't want to hop online for fear that I might have the seventh book spoiled for me before I had a chance to read it. Like, what happened to me when I was trying to read Harry Potter 6? I was hanging out in the NaNoWriMo chat room, and someone spoiled the end of book six for me, and I was really upset. So I knew who was going to die, and I just spent the entire book waiting for that person to die. And it finally happened on a certain page number. But, um, oh no, I finally had the seventh book, and I'm reading it. I, I didn't buy it, but mind you, but um, I'm reading it, and I'm enjoying it so far, even though nothing has really happened. So, yeah. Oh, uh, what else? Yeah, that's basically it. Nothing exciting is really happening. Um, although, I am going to visit my friends Connie and Patrick in Tucson tomorrow. So, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I haven't been there since Christmas. So, I miss everybody. Unfortunately, I have to be back on Monday, or at least my roommate does. So... I'm only going to be there for Saturday and then part of Sunday, and then I have to leave. So, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm really sorry that I haven't been online for the longest time. I don't know if you guys missed me or not. I miss you guys. Um, Scott Monteith, I don't know what, I think that's his name. 2000, he's leaving. That makes me sad. Um, haven't heard from Sam in a while. What's going on, Sam? I miss you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, and I've been watching the X-Files. My friend David has been letting me um, borrow all of his uh, X-File box set. So that's pretty much all I've been watching is the X-Files. That and Kingdom Hospital. Um, did any of you guys go to the, uh, the, the Harry Potter book party thing at Barnes & Noble or Borders? Um, I did because it was my last chance to do so, and I didn't have to be at work at 5 o'clock the next morning, so I went. It was pretty cool, pretty uh, eventful, standing in line for three hours. Um, I got, walked around the Barnes & Noble with the people dressed up as Tonks and Harry and Rita Seeker and... It, it was pretty interesting, although I spent the entire time looking at all the people like this. My eyebrow had a cramp by the end of the night. Um, and I 
didn't have anything Harry Potter's to wear, so this is what I wore. Hold on. Says, I'm a keeper. Which, if you read the books, is a position on the Quidditch team. And it's not even a, a Harry Potter shirt. It's just a shirt that I bought at Anchor Blue when I was in Tucson one time. But it was a Harry Potterish thing I could find. And so not many people got it. They looked at it and they're like, I'm a keeper. Oh, you're a keeper. That's a cute shirt. I love it. But not many people understood it. My friend David wore an Avenue Q shirt that said it sucks to be me. And everybody was like, oh my god, I love Avenue Q. I love that shirt. It's, such, it's the greatest thing ever. Oh my god. And I was jealous. Just a little bit. But um, yeah, that was the last one. Uh, don't tell me what the end of the book seven is like. I want to read it for myself. Any spoilers? I will cut you. I will hunt you down and cut you. So, yeah. All right, well, I guess I've wasted enough of your time, but um, I will talk to you later when I'm back from Tucson. Bye. Every day.